Watch your breath. Watch your mind. And do more than just watch. Alertness is part of mindfulness practice, but ardency is also. You know, part of it is the intentness of what you're watching. The other part is trying to be very careful to notice what you're adding to the situation right now that's not necessary. And can you drop that? Your perception that you are a person with a, a name and a gender and an identity. That's all irrelevant right now. The location where you are, that's irrelevant too. Just awareness and breath. See if you can strip things down like this. Because there are so many things that we carry around all the time in the mind that are really not necessary. This is why when the Buddha talks about mindfulness, it's mindful of just a very few things. Body, feelings, mind, dhammas. That's it. The question of who you are and what world you're in right now, that's irrelevant right now. Any thoughts that tend away from those four frames of reference, you can just drop. And as you get more and more perceptive, you begin to see how much really is unnecessary. How much you can let go and still be right here, just with the awareness and the breath. Simplifies things an awful lot, because you begin to realize how much you're adding to your experience. And it gives you some clues as to where you can look as where you're adding unnecessary suffering. So try to strip things down. In the days when the weather is hot, you can strip down the fact that somebody here is hot. It's just, okay, there's warmth, but that's it. And any narratives you may be building around that warmth, you can just let go. How much are we going to how much longer do we have to suffer with this? How much longer is this going to last? How, how long has it lasted already? Just put those thoughts away. The same goes to any painful sensation at all. There's so much that we add. There are so many narratives that we add that are totally unnecessary, yet create a huge weight on the mind. To learn how to drop them. Think of that story about a John Lee going off on the, the trip, a lot of lay people going off to the end of the woods with him. They met at a train station in Bangkok. He looked around, all the lay people had brought lots of luggage. And so he just started walking down the train tracks, which meant that they had to pick up their luggage and walk after him. And they started complaining, this is really heavy, it's very hard for us to carry our luggage and walk around the train tracks. They complained. He said, well, in that case, just throw it away. That was back in the days when there were lotus ponds on either side of the railroad tracks in Bangkok. So people had to stop and in some cases threw away whole, whole suitcases, other cases just sorted out what they had that was really necessary and threw everything else away. By the time they got to the next train station, everybody's load was a lot lighter. And that's when John Lee got on the train and let everybody else get on the train, too. So we're carrying a lot of luggage around, all these things we think are necessary. But if you see that you're just lugging around a lot of unnecessary weight, gets a lot easier to let go. The thing is, so many things that we think are necessary really are not. That's where the insight comes. So strip things down as much as you can. And you'll be surprised at how light the mind can be.